uh, we, we explode it. We take the food and we explode it inside of a bomb. I know that sounds fake, but it isn't. We take dehydrated food and we have some ignition wires that go into it. We fill up this chamber with oxygen so it's going to burn real good. And we seal it off and then we explode it. And then uh, the water around it heats up. And how much heat that increased by is the number of calories that was in the food. Don't worry guys, I'm not here to debunk Hank Green. But somebody asked on that video if I have done this before. I personally have not used a bomb calorimeter, but I benefit from the work that people have done to determine calories of different foods and different ingredients every single day because I create nutrition panels for food products. So because people in the past have done this work, I use those values that have been determined in this way to create nutrition panels for foods. And although that's how calories were determined in the past, that's not necessarily how they're determined now because there were some issues with that way of doing it. So fiber, for example, will burn in a calorimeter. However, it's not all necessarily absorbed by the body, so it doesn't contribute calories. What's typically used now is called the Atwater Indirect System, where calories are calculated based on the amount of fat, carbohydrates, protein, and alcohol in the food. Some of those carbohydrates might include fiber that's not digested by the body, so then those calories can be subtracted from the total calories of the food. This system uses the average amounts of four calories per gram for both protein and carbohydrates, nine calories per gram for fat, and then seven calories per gram for alcohol. And these values were determined by burning these substances in a calorimeter. So the software that I use to create nutrition panels has a bunch of ingredients already preloaded into it with all of the nutrition information for those ingredients. For new unique ingredients, typically you get that information from the supplier. So they have done that work ahead of time. There have been some cases where I've had to send different food products into a lab for them to determine the nutrition facts. So they are doing that work. I personally have never done it. I've seen several videos on here of people lighting different foods on fire and using it to fear monger and it's just sort of funny to me when you understand that this is literally how we determine calories in food because food contains energy it contains fuel when you don't have much water in the food you can light it on fire which is why he explained that you dehydrate it first and then set it on fire so many different foods will already have low enough moisture that you can do this without necessarily dehydrating it first anyways yeah i haven't done it myself but i benefit from the people that have done it in the past